there so well. This one do uh, some spoken word. How about a round of applause for Carl Falk? I meant that, by the way, as a sincere introduction. I didn't want that to be seen as just a cheap way to let the awesomeness of that number fade a little bit. Before I had to sing one up here by myself. Um, what a treat it is uh, to be a uh, part of this whole team. And I think you'll agree with me that anybody who gets a spot on the, on the roster with this gang is a lucky fellow. So give them all a lot of I sing a song uh, I saw Russell wrote after Russell's first visit to my home uh, province of Canada, my, the island that I'm from. Uh, uh, I'm from a, a, a place called Petty Harbor in, in Newfoundland. And Newfoundland is, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. I'm going to say that one more time. I'm from Petty Harbor, Newfoundland. Now that was shameless. Uh, Newfoundland um, became a province of Canada in 1949, and uh, I would say I was referred to it as the time. You remember in 1949 when Canada joined Newfoundland? <laughs> the CCC. The, um, after Russell finished uh, a movie in Toronto where we met up and shoot a movie called City of and we went there, and uh, Russell came to Newfoundland and written a couple of songs, including Ray One and a couple others, and he wanted to check out. Newfoundland. So he came to St. John's and he enjoyed it. And I explained to him sort of the brief history of Newfoundland about how it had been a country of its own and a republic of Britain in, in, in 1949. The independence of Newfoundland was over the way and the like. And how ever since Newfoundland uh, really has been immigrating people around the country, Canada and the like. And, and, and I, I just told him how Mr. Smaller led, led, the, led the province into the Federation of Canada and the like, and how people from a, a generation, certainly a couple of generations previous to mine, were not that happy about it. And uh, thankfully for me, I was born in the, in the wicked country of Canada, and I'm grateful to be a part of it. Um, and the Canadian that I have. But one of the things I, I told Russell anyway, that one of the things I've always wanted to write is a song about the many, many, many people that have to leave me from that to go find work somewhere around the country. And, uh, and, uh, and, I, and Russell's idea from the very beginning was, well, don't try to write all the stories in one song, just write one story. And that's what this next song is. It's called Ride the Road. Well, Jenny said goodbye this afternoon As far as I can tell She can't bear the goodbye evenings The morning after so farewell she says, here you are, another one, to whose back I'm saying cheers. It's like a death in the family, and it's been going on for years. So I'll cast my leading shadow, and I'll be Canadian, but distance won't decide what matters to the hard rocks and rolling sun. And when I'm thinking of St. John's, I'll bring her closer with their song. I don't know where I'm going, but I know where I belong. Now don't get the old man started, or I'll have to hide him from the wrong. If we can keep his mind from 49, will he keep having fun? Though it's not the kids he's cursing, though I'm his third to leave, he's mad at Mr. Smallwood, and it's a parent's right to grieve. And so I'll cast my leaving shadow, and I'll be Canadian, but distance won't decide what matters to the hard rocks and loving sun. And when I'm thinking of St. John's, I Let's take 
take a moment in silence for our dear departed souls. And let's fly our flags at half their mass as another young man goes. The laughter of the children supplanted by the Roman ghosts. And another tide surrenders to a fire. Beat the path from our front door, one right after the other, then they won't be back no more. But the thing I think I feel the most, she whispered in my ear, is being the last flower in the garden, with no one left to care. And so I'll cast my leading shadow, and I'll be. The hard rocks, the loving sun, and when I'm thinking of staying, John's out.